Hi, I'm Jay from Real Street Performance. Today we're going to talk about getting your manual transmission car off the starting line more consistently. So you've got your build together, making good power, it's time to drive to the drag strip and run it. As the car makes more power, traction becomes less available, parts breakage goes up, and you have to get off the starting line more consistent. Some people are born with the talent to drag the clutch through first gear correctly and balance that clutch slip and wheel spin and drive line parts, and some people aren't. I'm not, so I have to either let the clutch out quickly or use a valve to slow the rate in which the clutch comes out. If you're launching the car very hard and you have enough power to get off the starting line, but you're letting the clutch out too aggressively, you can incur a wheel spin, wheel hop, or parts breakage if the car just hooks. The mechanical fix for this problem is to install a valve between the clutch slave and the clutch master to slow the release of the clutch so the rate that you come off your pedal with your foot isn't the rate that the clutch is released. You can adjust these valves to release the clutch faster or slower until you have it dialed in for your car. The first example is from Clutch Masters. Tilton also makes one of these. This is just going to use a, a different jet size to regulate the speed in which the clutch comes out in relation to the pedal. Because this valve is mechanical, it's gonna slow the rate the clutch comes out on every gear change. Magnus Motorsports makes one with an electronic solenoid on it. You can use it with a first gear indicator switch or hooked in through your standalone ECU, and that way it's only active in first gear, and it has a dial to adjust the rate the clutch comes out. This is a, a bit more tunable of a valve. We have installed one of these on one of the cars at the shop, and it helped us get the launch down more consistently. As you can see, if we turn the dial, you can slow the clutch way down as it comes out, or you can adjust the valve to where it opens very freely and the clutch will come out like normal. So there's a wide range to tune the valve in to make sure that you're getting the best balance between when your foot comes off the clutch and when the clutch is fully released. This is also cool if you're working on different surfaces because you can loosen the clutch up a little bit so it doesn't hit quite as hard if the track isn't that great that night. So for the money spent and the safety purchased, it's a pretty good investment. I hope you enjoyed this week's tech tip. This is a pretty cool little device to help you get your drag race car working more consistently if you don't have the magic foot. I don't. Have a good week. See you next time.